Hi everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make handmade Christmas gift baskets. Every year I enjoy making handmade Christmas gift baskets for people on my list who I don't really know what to get for. Uh, you know the person that you used to always go grab a Bath & Body Works set or some socks or just something random that you're not really sure if they're gonna like. I like handmade gifts for that because they're thoughtful and practical and then the items also in this basket are items that they can use and that won't be toxic for their skin and their homes. They're all handmade and good for you and it all looks really pretty when it comes together with some printable labels which I also include. So for this gift basket I include a hand poured beeswax candle which I showed you how to make here on this channel but for this particular one I used a little tin that I thought looked really pretty and festive in this basket and I also put a couple teaspoonfuls of eucalyptus and cinnamon essential oils. Now normally I use my doTERRA oils for everything on my body and in my home products like my sprays and body butters, anything like that. But for this particular application, my candle, I decided to use an off brand because you really need a lot to make a candle smell strong. I really wanted these to have a strong Christmas scent, so I got the off-brand oils. I'll leave a link in the description below for the wicks, the beeswax, the tins, and then also the essential oils that I used for this and for everything else in this gift basket. I also made a Christmas tree room spray. You can spray it on pillows, tea towels. To make it, you just add about 30 to 40 drops of essential oils, then fill it halfway up with witch hazel and then top it off with filtered water and give it a good shake. Now I have all of the combinations of oils that you can use on the blog. I like to focus for this one on the winter greenery scents like cypress and fir and pine, but I have some different combinations. So I'll link the blog post for all of this below. After that, I added my whipped body butter. I'll leave a link in the cards and down below for my whipped body butter recipe. Now in my normal recipe, I use lavender, but for this particular one, I use peppermint, cinnamon, and lemon. Now make sure that if you are gonna be going out in the sun right away, not to put the body butter right on your face because lemon is a photosensitive oil. You could also just leave the lemon out if you do a lot of sun exposure in the winter. I use this for my hands and my legs and places that aren't as exposed to the sun and sometimes on my face, but that would be like before bed or something like that. So just a, a fair warning, if you're gonna go out in the sun, don't put lemon essential oil or any citrus oil for that matter on your face. But this combination of oils smells so delicious. Next, I threw a few of my homemade peppermint lip balms into a little muslin bag. Looks nice uh, in the gift basket in the little muslin bag. I'll leave a link below to the tutorial. These are all really simple. And one more thing about this, they include a lot of the same ingredients. So you'll find that beeswax is in almost all the recipes, cocoa butter, coconut oil, just some few basic ingredients, as well as a few essential oils, and you can make all of these things. Now what I like to do is make them in bulk, so that way if you have, say, 10 people on your list you don't really know what to get for, like maybe some in-laws or an aunt or a cousin or teachers, you can make a bunch of these things at once and make several baskets. Now, you don't have to make everything. You could just put two or three items together in a little bag with a ribbon or maybe a tea towel, and it's a good gift all on its own without having to pull out all of these DIYs. But this is just to give you the idea that you could if you wanted to include all of them. Next, I just printed off the labels, which you just download and print off. I included a red version, a blue version, and a black version. For my basket, of course, I use black, but you can use any of the colors, it'll look great and festive no matter what you do and nicely pulled together when you add that touch of adding the label. I print mine on some sticky label paper. You can either do that, but if you don't have any on hand, you don't really want to buy any. You can also just use regular paper and use some clear packing tape to keep it on. To round the gift basket off, I threw in some things that are super simple to make. A immune support roller bottle, which is great in the winter. You know, a lot of sicknesses are going around. Just add some immune support oils with some fractionated coconut oil. Give it a shake, add the label, you're good to go. I have the recipe on the blog. And some peppermint bath salts. They have that candy cane flavor smell to them. It's just two tablespoons of Epsom salt, two tablespoons of sea salt, and a half tablespoon of baking soda. Peppermint essential oil. 
This just is invigorating in the bathtub. Um, it has that wonderful smell to it. it. Smells like Christmas, and it's an easy thing to add into this gift basket. Now to make the gift basket, I put some tissue paper around the sides and in the bottoms and just kind of set everything in so that it fit nicely and look nice. Also added a tea towel for a little bit of color as well as just something to fill it in really easily. You could also add some homemade ornaments. So here on the channel, I have a tutorial for how to make twig stars, which are really pretty, as well as drop cloth rag ball ornaments and a pine cone ornament. But I envision you can make a few of those and just kind of fill in. That way you can have a nice full gift basket. So in the description below, I will link to the blog post, which has all of these recipes written out, the printable labels, which are also right there on that blog post, the supplies that I use for this. So the tins and the different materials and the tea towel and all that kind of stuff, the basket, and then some other videos that have some of these tutorials on it. Play around with it and see what you can come up with. Maybe combine two or three things to create your own gift basket for your loved ones this season. If you make this, please share a photo on Instagram and tag me, Farmhouse on Boone, and I will be sharing some of these gift baskets throughout the Christmas season up until Christmas in my stories. So if you wanna be featured on my Instagram and you make one of these baskets, definitely post a picture and tag me. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.